Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at how to install Node-RED on Raspberry Pi. Now detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So the first thing we will do is make sure that our system uh, uh, operating system is up to date. So if we go to our terminal services here, and we will just expand that a little bit here. And the first thing we will do is actually check for any updates. And the command we will use is sudo apt. And apt actually stands for advanced uh, packaging tool. And we will check to make sure that we have or, or have any of the packages available for update. So right now it's saying that all of our packages are up to date. If there were packages, it would actually tell us what packages uh, to update. Next, what we do is once we have those, then we can actually upgrade those packages and we use the command full update um, or, or full upgrade in order to actually activate those. So let's uh, put that in and it'll actually make sure that it does all of the update itself. Next, what we want to do is there is a, a node red script that will automatically uh, do a, a few things for us automatically. So that's what we want to activate now. What we'll do is just put that in. And don't worry, all these uh, informations uh, are located at our website at accautomation.ca. So there's the script. It just calls to a web page or web page and it asks me, are you really want to do this? We'll say yes. And would you like to install the Pi Pacific nodes? We'll say yes to that as well. And now what it's doing is it's going to go through here and it's going to stop Node Red. It's going to remove any old versions of Node Red and remove old versions of Node.js. And it's going to leave existing Node.js if, it, if it's okay. And it's going to install the, the Node Red core. It's going to put the latest version of Node Red using NPM. And optionally, it will install the, the Pi Pacific nodes, which uh, will go use the header and we can create customized uh, information coming into Red and Node Red. So this usually take up to 20 minutes, as it said. And we've had pre-installed it, so um, everything should go pretty quick, and it is quick now. So we're, right now we're done. And one of the other things it does is it does set up Node Red to run as a service and provide a set of commands to work with the service. So Node Red actually is running as a service. That means that we do not have to have it actually locked into as a user in order to operate this Node Red. And now. Since we stopped Node Red, we have we have to actually start Node Red by hitting Node Red Start, and that will that will go ahead and do it. Then we can point our browser to our local host on port 1880, and away we go. The next thing what we really want to do though is make sure that we have a static IP address. Now, static IP addresses are ideal when using um, a Node Red programming because we really want to know where we're pointing the information to. So. The first thing we uh, we want to do actually um, is then look at our static IP. So the one way of doing it is looking at our MAC address. So if we type in if config, you will see that we can um, display our MAC addresses that we have on here. I'll just make this a little bigger. There we go. And our MAC address is located right here. This e ETH0 is our Ethernet, and there is our MAC address right here. And our WLAN0 is our Wi Fi, and our MAC address is right here. So 180 and 181. What we'll do um, is, in order to actually set it, your IP address or make a static IP address, what we use is our uh, DHCP client daemon and in order to find out what the status of our client daemon is 
what we'll do is just test it out and look for the status. And right here, we can see that our status is currently running. So that means that we uh, can go ahead and we can um, configure our um, IP address here. And that's how we, we do it. DHCP CD config, enter. And now what we can do is set our hardware here. And you can see, we're gonna take our ethernet, we're gonna take a static IP address of 168.1.134, and 24 represents our, our mask. And then we have our static router and our domain name server and that specifies uh, where to get this information from and that's our pointing to our router. So once we have that, we can then save it and then exit from that. And then what we can also do is on our Wi-Fi, what we've done is we've actually set the Wi-Fi up using our MAC address in order to uh, tell the router when you receive this MAC address, right here, it's 81, what you wanna do is assign it the this configuration. This way we always know where that node red is. So looks like everything's working now. And then if we go back, let's just uh, um, ensure that member we've automatically start, we've automatically uh, stopped the service, but we want to automatically start that service when we first start the uh, Raspberry Pi or the Raspberry Pi first boots up. So in order to do that, um, what we want to do is set this up so that the red service automatically boots. So let's just uh, put the command in here and this will enable my, no my node red service to actually start on the command system. And that's all there is to it. If we want to disable that, we would just put disable here. So now my Raspberry Pi is all set to go. And we can just quickly check a look because sometimes it's, it's nice to see actually what we're actually dealing with. So here's my actual physical hardware. Here's my actual Raspberry Pi that you see here. And we are connected through our Ethernet as well as our, our Wi-Fi for this unit. And we also have, this has all come from our... Um, Labra starter kit for the Raspberry Pi 4. And I recommend that we actually use Raspberry Pi 4 because of the speed of the processor. So the next thing we do is just start our, our Node Red service because we did stop it in order to uh, put this in. And remember, it's gonna start automatically when we reboot. So to start it manually, we just type in Node Red start. And there we go, it'll start that service and we can you see the flows are now running. And actually to see that, we type in our web browser, our local service member. So we'll call up that web browser. And on the web browser, HTTP, and then local host with a port 1880, hit enter. And you can see it's going to load our plugins, load our nodes. And because we haven't got any flows programmed yet, but that's it. And we are up and running and automatically booting up. And we know exactly what IP address to go to. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click that bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.